let's just have some quick Q&A. This has nothing to do with the online piece just yet. But while I have everybody's attention, I want to make sure that you guys don't have any questions in general. Let's just have some, some VIP time. Are there any questions in general anybody wants to ask me about building the business? Any tips you need? Any better understanding? No question is a silly question unless you've asked it 10 times before. <laughs> Where do you find the scripts? Who's that talking? Uh, James Brown, New York. Hey, James. You said, where, did you say, where can you find the scripts? Yeah, where do you find the, uh, like, uh, you know, introducing people to business or whatever uh, scripts? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, a couple of things. So, he said, just don't know, he said, where do you find the scripts? So, actual scripts are located on, um, when you go to howtoshiftyourincome.com and click on members, you're going to see a section called share and under share you'll see actual scripts so you'll see like um email scripts text message scripts and facebook scripts under share under the share section okay and you copy and paste those all right thank you okay now what you want to do as well my friend make sure you go to when you go to howtoshiftyourincome.com again and click on members there's a step that says, order my free volume. I got a free library I give everybody that's in our team of trainings I've done over the years. Make sure your teams get those free training library, that, that training library and watch one video per day minimum. So scripts are one thing, but how you actually implement them are something different. All right, thank All right, you. It's like next level is in the building. Hey, Brian, this is Anita. Anita. Hey, I got a question. So. Um, I know after, like, I struggle with in this area. After my people sign up with me, uh, I know I send them that welcome thing that you sent us. I send that to everybody. And, um, at the end, it says to jump on a Zoom, and then it says deal. Who are they going to jump on a Zoom with? Is it me? Uh, because I, I don't. Honestly, I don't feel comfortable enough to jump on the Zoom right now with just by, by myself. Right. Okay, good question. So you're saying when they join the business, you send them the welcome, right? And then part of those instructions are to, to jump on the Zoom, am I correct? Yes. Okay, so what you want to do, you just want to make sure that if you're not comfortable doing them right now, I, I would encourage you to accelerate your pace to get comfortable. Um, okay. There are certain things that you know that the prospects don't know, so don't feel like you got to be an expert. But that's another training. What I do want you to know is just have some Zooms lined up in the team that they can plug people into. The name of the game is to build your business event by event. Every time there's an event, and I think people really miss the simplicity of this. Every time there's an event, you want some new people on there. Okay, trust me. Every time there's a training, you want your team on there. And every time there's a presentation, you want some new people on there. So just when it says that, they actually should be scheduling their first Zoom with you, or they need to be plugging people into a Zoom as soon as possible. Got it, got it, and okay. Now, okay. I think in the ideal world, in the ideal world, honestly, the Zoom that they're inviting their people to is the one they're hosting. That's the ideal world, because what it does, it puts a little bit of pressure on that new rep to invite some people to that Zoom. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Now, here's the secret I want to give everybody. Here's a secret. See, see what questions do? Hold on. Here's a secret I want to give everybody. If I have a new rep and I sign them up Monday and our Zoom is, let's say, tonight at 930, I'll leak the Zoom to like five of y'all. You see what I'm saying? So that that rep, when his three friends get on there, it's another 18 of us. Six of us brought three friends apiece and we all supporting it. You see, y'all got to learn, just support each other's Zooms. Everything ain't for everybody. But if I have a new Zoom or a new rep that I signed up today and they're having a Zoom Thursday, the other people that I'm excited for and they brand new, I'll invite like five of my new people and say, hey, y'all, I'm doing a Zoom for, for Tracy Thursday at 930. Y'all bring some of y'all's people to that Zoom too. Now, my focus is Tracy because it's her Zoom. My shout out is Tracy because it's her Zoom. My attention and edification is Tracy, because it's her Zoom. But you better believe the last five reps I signed up, they're allowed to bring people on there too. You see what I mean? So that's how you yeah. maximize your time and get more than just one person with their little three friends looking at you on Zoom. Gotcha. Thank you. 
Yeah. You're welcome. All right, I'll say one more and I'm getting started with tonight's topic. One more question. Brian, it's Kayla. What's up, Kayla? How are you? Um, just a quick question. I had, I've had two people that I know have been on the presentations and today I finally got a follow-up. And the question was, well, Kayla, I want to I want to understand it from you. I don't know this guy. So I know that kind of puts me in a position that it's time for me to start doing these Zooms a little more better and maybe we tag teaming. But I just, I kind of felt like she didn't watch it because you're explaining everything in detail. Am I looking at it wrong? No, nah, you're looking at it right. Remember, prospects don't tell us how they get to see the business. We tell them how they're going to see the business, right? So if I spit all this game and show you all this proof, and Kayla, I don't know this guy. I want to know it from you. Well, Felicia, all I'm doing is telling you what he told me. You, you see exactly. what I'm saying? So I, I don't play them games with people. That's an excuse, and your job is to find out what the real reason is. And I can tell you right now, they don't have 228. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Because people that want people that want the knowledge, when you're hungry and you want knowledge, you don't care who the messenger is. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, okay, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank now, you. That's, the, that's the hard me. Let me soften it up a little bit. No, I like the hard you. It's the, that's going to help me grow. Okay. All right, that's the hard me, but let me soften it for those listening. Okay. <laughs> you let that person know that they'll be working with you. They'll get knowledge from you. They'll get support from you, but you rather them see the business from someone who's had the most success in the company. Exactly. Okay. That's how you blend their fears with my experience. But okay. it's really just an excuse. I'm just giving you the real deal versus how you charismatically let them know something different. Yes, sir. Cool. Thank you. All yes, right, sir. let's make this happen. All right, guys, tonight's topic. It's been brought to my attention that a great topic to teach on would be how to build a business when you feel like your well has run dry. Raise your hand if you feel like that's a pretty good topic. That means you guys can still hear me. Good. So let's talk about how to build a business when you feel like your well has run dry. Brian, what are some social media tips that we can do and use to create engagement online? I told everybody um, earlier to write down numbers one through eight on a sheet of paper. I may stretch this out to about 10, but I'm gonna give you guys eight important tips to uh, expanding your warm market into lukewarm. That's the topic. Okay, guys, this is how you expand your warm market into lukewarm. Just so you know, there are three kinds of markets, warm market, common market, and cold market. Warm market, common market and cold market. These are the three areas of penetration when it relates to people and prospects. Your warm market, those are people you know. Your common market are people that you have in common with other people. Like your significant other, you may not know his friends, but I mean, you may not be close to his friends, but you know them because of your significant other. So those are like friends of friends, i.e. tonight's topic, Facebook market. And then you have cold market. Those are people you've never met. So anytime you talk about prospecting and a person struggles in the business, you have warm market, common market, and cold market. Capiche? Capiche. Now, let's break this down. Tonight's main topic is common market. Number one, I want you to write this down. Here's how you build your business online. Very, very successful formula. Build, engage, monetize. That's the philosophy of everything you do, guys. Build first, engage second, monetize third. Now, what people try to do, Mr. Tall, is they want to monetize first, and that's where they mess up. You're scaring people away. There's a certain psychology, there's a certain unwritten rule, there's a certain culture, if you will, online that you don't realize it, but you're in that culture the minute you get online. And one of them is, let's build a relationship first, okay? That's the first thing, we have to build first. Now that we have a relationship, I think your kids are cute, oh my goodness, we both have a puppy, oh my goodness, I'm from Atlanta too, Oh my goodness, we both like basketball. Oh my goodness, we both hate whoever. Uh, anyway, I was gonna fill in the blank, but I don't feel like doing it. So, oh my goodness, we now have a lot in common. Now we're engaging with each other. 
Make sure you put a star by number three. Monetization comes third. It doesn't come first. But here's what a lot of people do. Well, Brian, I posted it. Didn't nobody like it. Tom, I posted it. They saw it. Ain't nobody saying nothing. <laughs> I'm like, y'all are missing. Y'all are missing the rules of social media. It's build, engage. Three is monetize. You monetize last. So that's the first thing I want to make sure you guys get is the philosophy. Now, before I move on to number two, I want you to give this like a, uh, no, go ahead and get this to number two. Number two. This is number two official. People get on social media for three things. Basically, write this down. If you're not doing one of these three things, you kind of wasting your time. Education, entertainment, motivation. Remember that guys, education, entertainment, motivation. Newsflash, people don't care how you feel today. and You just want to vent, that's not good people. We didn't get on here to hear your day. Let me just tell you, y'all my followers, y'all my friends. Let me just tell you how sick I am today of people. Okay, well, let me just ask you, is that education? Is that motivation? Or is that entertainment? It may be entertaining, but not the kind you want. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened to me at the grocery store. Okay, and you just, we just eating popcorn while you hang yourself. No. Now, I'm not saying, here's what I'm saying. If I post a chat that me and Makai had, that's just me showing my family a form of entertainment. Thumbs up if that makes sense, right? If I post um, a meme, like today, I said um, people, people waiting on the 10th of the month of next month when it's the 11th of the month this month. Y'all know I'm talking about us. It's, it's, it's funny to those of us in the business. So what I'm saying is, if you go look at my timeline, I'm either educating you, I'm making you laugh with a meme or something, or I'm motivating. Now, of course, there's small things outside of that, but I want to caution everybody. You better ask yourself after you hit sin, or I mean, before you hit sin, am I doing one of these three things? Now, let me give you some, some subtopics. If I do a survey, that's a great way to engage because what you're doing, believe it or not, that's under the education category. If I say, listen, what's the fastest way to get this president out of office? I'm starting a survey. Some people are going to say something crazy. Some people are going to say something that makes sense. Some people are going to say impeach him. Some people are going to say, you know what we need to do, Brian. Some people are going to say, so what I'm doing is I'm creating a lot of engagement under a controversial topic. Does that make sense? Let me give everybody a tip. Don't you ever become the controversy. You ask questions and let the dialogue create controversy. If y'all know this, I'm real careful about my posts. Not because I care what people think, but because I don't want to offend anybody who's not reading it the right way. Thumbs up if that makes sense. So if it's something controversial like politics or religion, I mean, those are two big no-nos, guys. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Those are two big no-nos. Those are two big no-nos. But what I will do, if 45 piss me off, I won't say I hate 45. I'll say, man, I miss Barack. Y'all see the difference? And then I'll let other people have at it about how they feel and all that stuff. What I'm telling you is, don't you ever be or make the controversial statement that could turn off the same followers you're trying to get to a business tomorrow. That's another topic. I just want to give you all that real quick. Entertain, educate, motivate. Another great one real quick, I'll give you this too, is update. Like if you just update the family, hey guys, you know, such and such graduated today. Of course, that's a lot of things for your family. I'm talking about, you know what I guess I mean, guys? I guess as it means, as it relates to the business. Does that make sense? As it relates to the business, just be careful before you share something. All right? A lot of y'all share the most, a lot of people share the most negative posts in the world, man, and wonder why ain't nobody signed up for the business. I go to your post, and it just make me feel like hanging myself. I'm like, I would never get in business with you, ever. Like, everything just negative. Now, let me give you number three. 
Diversify your posts. Diversify your posts. I'm going somewhere with this. This is all under how you build your following. If your posts are diversified, you're going to create a lot of attraction if it's diversified. If I go to your timeline right now and all I see is the watch party Brian did yesterday, the watch party Brian did at seven o'clock, the watch party Brian did at nine o'clock, the post you made this week on your chat, the post MWR put up this morning, reminding people about the conference call tonight. I want y'all to remember this. Here's what I always ask myself, Tamika. If a new person comes to my page, will they instantly click off? They're like, oh, hell, he in some, he gonna try to get me in something. My page should not look like I'm just all MWR and that's it. I always say, if a new person came to my page, would they be like, man, he's interesting. If a new person came to my page, would they be like, man, what does he do? If you dig far enough, you'll see what I do. But at first glance, I hope you go through about five of my posts and find them intriguing. Thumbs up if that makes sense, right? So diversify your posts, guys. Throw some stuff in there from a third party. Did y'all see this on our Huffington Post? So-and-so made $2 billion, I mean, from Forbes magazine? So-and-so made $2 billion, guys. We're on our way. Hey, did y'all see this from, I don't know, uh, Ayala's, Ayala's um, column? She's saying that happiness is on the rise if we just do so-and-so. Hey, I'm having a watch party tonight. Hey, guys, did y'all see this? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's got to be laced in. It can't be, please get used to sharing third-party information. That's what people look for. They want you to educate them. They want to engage with you because you have interesting things on your wall, funny things on your wall, motivational things on your wall. If you have a thought that you want to post, Google it, guys. It's a million memes out there that are funny. It's a million memes out there that are educational. It's a million um, articles that could spark interest. Please don't make your wall look like you an MWR junkie. You're going to turn people off. They're not even going to stick around because your last 10 posts, your paycheck, your watch part, your this, your promotion, your new ED, congratulations, shout out, welcome, blah, blah, blah. Let me give y'all a quick update, side note. Do you know your um, following does not care about your welcome to MWR? You welcome people to your group, guys. I'm just giving you a little tidbit. You ain't got to listen to me. Your following don't care nothing about your welcome. They really don't. Your group cares about your welcome. Your following cares about the thing, if y'all notice, when I promoted Brandon today, y'all give it up real quick. Brandon here, area director, round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. All right, Brandon, congrats, man. When I promote Brandon, when I promote any of you guys, if you notice, my last statement is, let's look into his bank account, shall we? So now I'm kind of peaking interest with his promotion. They read that. Does that make sense? Thumbs up, right? But ladies and gentlemen, welcome John to the team uh, this ain't the team. Just some food for thought. Just some food for thought. I I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get it where when you post something about MWR, you don't waste it. Like, it's, it's worthy of note. So that way, the welcome posts don't get lost in translation with the posts that matter. All right, I got to go here because we got an 8.30 tonight. Wealth Max, we cannot miss it. All right, so everybody agree. We're going to diversify our posts, right? A little bit of business. A little bit of family, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of friendship, a little bit of uh, education, a little bit of business, a little bit of family, a little bit of motivation, a little bit of business, a little bit of inspiration, family, family, inspiration, education, a little bit of business. You see? Remember, ask yourself this question. If I come to your page, am I clicking off the minute I see 18 posts about MWR? That's not what it's for. In fact, you're losing followers. You're turning people off. Now, to the contrary, some of you guys don't post enough. Okay? I, if I go to your page, I don't even know you in the business. Like, when are you going to post something? My goodness. So there's a balance. That's why I'm giving you the things that people look for. Okay? This is not Brian. This is scientific research. I paid thousands of dollars. to, to The stuff I teach you guys, man, I don't make this stuff up. Now, I frame it up. 
but I don't make this stuff up. I paid thousands of dollars over the years to learn different industries and I'm, I'm bringing all this to you guys. So don't, don't trust me, just, just, I mean, don't believe me, trust me, okay? All right. Y'all know how I get, I'm not even gonna number them. I'm just gonna, y'all keep going with y'all numbers, okay? Keep going, here's the next one. Number three, I think. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as a dry well. There is no such thing as a dry well. For all of you that think, I want to clear this up right now. For all of you that think your well has run dry. For all of you that think you out of people. For all of you who think you've tapped out. For all of y'all that think I've been through everybody. You have a limited and small perspective. I submit to you, you have not even scratched the surface of the people that you can be in touch with. You know why? Because of this thing called social media. You have not scratched the surface of the people that you can connect with. You may have tapped out of your warm market, but guys, your common market, let me, let me tell you something cool about the common market. The common market and the cold market, put this as a note somewhere, they're limitless. They're limitless. See, what y'all have to remember is the minute I sponsor somebody in my common market. They just opened me up to 2,000 new people. Y'all, I'm telling you, man, Pia, listen to me. One person can lead you to 2,000. I proved that at the Virtual Game Changer. I brought on my, one of my guys that's a millionaire today. He led me to thousands of people in 1998. Thousands. So... The number of people that you know, believe it or not, is unlimited. It's limitless. But you think you've tapped out because you haven't learned some of the things I'm going over tonight. So I just want to make sure that that's a point. I believe that's number three. There is no such thing as a dry well. So stop it. Look, I want to make sure we clear. Social media is a cultural icon. Social media, Facebook, for example, is a cultural icon. For everyone that tells me, I don't like Facebook. I'm not on social media. I don't wanna do it. I can't stand that stuff. You know what I say, that's fine. But just know, that's like these days saying, I ain't getting in one of them cars. I ain't getting on the highway. I ain't getting one of them cell phones. I'm telling you what you're saying. That's the era we are in, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, when a person comes to me tomorrow, now, Brian, I ain't no Facebook. Uh, how else can you communicate with me? Sorry, you got to get an account, my friend, because I'm not going to remember to reach over and call you when the rest of us live here. You, you, you see what I'm saying? I can't do it. I tell anybody in a heartbeat, I need you to open up a Facebook account and I don't care if the only friend you got is me and Zuckerberg. I'm not reaching over to the side to remember to text you. I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. So I'm just being honest with you. Okay? Listen. Everything evolves, guys. Everything. At one point, we had dial-up. Dial-up went to um, DSL. DSL went to cable. Cable went to satellite. Satellite now went to Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi is now hotspot. Okay, your phone now can create a Wi-Fi signal if you don't have one. Everything evolves. Vinyl went to 8-track. 8-track went to cassette. Cassette went to CD. CD went to Napster. Napster went to streaming. Streaming went to iMusic. Okay, and Pandora. And um, all the other ones, Spotify. Everything evolves. We're a long way from records. So if you think for one second you don't need to learn this stuff, you sadly mistaken. So if we're building a business and we're in the people business and Facebook is where everybody lives, you might want to take down some of these notes I'm giving you and start this stuff tomorrow. It's the era we live in, y'all. I don't care how you feel about it. Get out your feelings. Get used to some of this stuff and start expanding your horizons on social media. It don't mean you got to let everybody in your business. It don't mean you can't block a clown. It don't mean you can't permanently ban people. It don't mean, I, I think y'all have it, a lot of people have it twisted. 
you get a clown, block them. It's simple. My mom was like that, man. I don't want everybody in my business. I said, mom, they not in your business if you don't post it. What are you talking about? Look. She had like Zuckerberg say, hey, put that picture up you was at last night. Put it up. That ain't how it work, mama. Okay? They not in your business. Okay? <laughs> they only in what you give them. Okay? <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway, number four. I'll give you this, but I already talked about it. Number four is you don't need cold market before you need lukewarm. You don't need cold market before you need lukewarm. Very important. A lot of y'all jump out there and you start thinking you got to do all this creative stuff. No, you ain't got to get out there and do nothing creative. You know what you need to do? Get better at social media marketing. That's, you, you ain't got to get out there and do nothing creative and crazy. You need to be better at this. Better at my posts. Better at my engagement. Better at my monetization online, which is phase three. That's what you need to get better at. You don't need to get better at cold market. You need to get better at lukewarm market. I'll take questions in a second. Everybody good? Hold up the number that we should be on right now. I got six. Come on, you got six. Y'all got six. Good Lord. All right. Majority rules. Y'all got six. All right. Valerie got six. Anita got six. All right. Well, we're on six then. Let's go with six. Well, that means y'all going to have 23 points tonight. No. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> number seven. Oh, we're on six now. Okay, we're on six now. Okay, all right, we're on six now. Six, expand your friend list by 500 by the end of this month. Now we're gonna get into some action. I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Expand your friend list by 500 by the end of this month. Do you know that by now, your same little friend seeing your stuff? Look, okay, look, I don't care what you post. What you doing, you starting to think your posts need to get more creative. No, that's not the answer, y'all. More people need to see your posts. See, you saying, I get more engagement if I did this more. No, you get more engagement if you had more than 209 friends. You get more engagement if you had more than 686 friends. You get more engagement, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, if you had more than 2016 friends. Please put this as a side note. The world is humongous and your vision has to expand where you have, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. I'm gonna be honest with you. Here's the goal, here's the goal. You need to maximize the 5,000 friends that Facebook allows. I'm gonna be honest with you. If we're gonna keep it real, we're gonna keep it real. You need to be knocking at 5,000 friends, not tomorrow, not even by the end of the year. But you got to stop limiting your access to people. Brian, I don't want all the people in my world. Okay, I got a solution for that. But I'm just telling you that your goal, look, I went and deleted 19 people before this so I could bring on a new 19 people. My rule is if I can't see your picture, you get deleted, period. If you want them little gray avatars, and me and you somehow became friends. I go down my friends list like twice a week and I just deleted 19 people, right? Cause I'm, I'm maxed out at 5,000. My goal, I'm gonna tell y'all my goal. I want 5,000 engaging friends. Now that's a goal you would never reach, but that's my goal. If I go down my friend list and I see somebody, I'm like, I ain't never met no Tom Jackson. <laughs> Click, he gone. Tom, I, ain't, I don't even know who you are. I'll just go purge people on the random. Seriously, I will. On the random, I'll purge people. I ain't never met no Felicia Boykin. Click. She ain't said nothing on my post. I ain't said nothing on hers. We must not have that much in common. You've been my friend two years. Click. I go purge people. And sometimes I'm wrong. I have people hit me up. Hey, B, that was me. I'm like, oh, shoot. <laughs> that was my new rep. I just signed up. <laughs> Okay, so you got to purge people. Listen, guys, get you 500 new friends by the end of June. It's not your posts that have to get creative. It's you not, you, you're not expanding your exposure. I'm telling you. All right, that's one of your action tactics. Let's move on. Number...
Seven. Seven. We on that was six. Yes. All right, seven. Join at least five new Facebook groups. Join at least five new Facebook groups. Okay, so now the first few steps, maybe one through four, maybe one through five, were about building your community. Thumbs up if that makes sense, right? You got new followers, you purging all the avatars, you purging people who have, I purge people that have a logo. If you got a logo up as your picture, you don't make it to my friend list. I purge you in a heartbeat. Cause that, that tells me right then you're trying to sell something. I need to see your face. That's, a, that's not Brian Bean, that's a statistical, that's a st statistical fact. That your Facebook profile picture should be you, not University of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? It just, it just don't work like that. Now. Join five different groups. Let me tell you the kind of groups I join. The Sharks from Shark Tank, for example. They each have a group. I'll go into Mark Cuban's Shark Tank group. Not to solicit, to build relationships. I'll go into Mr. Wonderful's group. I'll go into Eric Thomas's group. I'm into vintage cars. I'm a member of four or five, four or five different vintage car groups. Not to solicit, to engage. You guys need to join about five new groups. And I'm going to tell you right now, culture, culturally, if you go in there blasting MWR, they're going to kick you out the first day. So don't please, please don't go in there making us look like that. Your job is to get in there and see what kind of like minds you have with people. Let me give you guys a tip. You can go ahead and call this number or whatever. Hey, <laughs> let me give you a tip. If all you do is post and you never like or share or comment on other people's stuff, Facebook not even showing your stuff. I don't think y'all know that. Your friend's not even seeing your stuff because the algorithm you told Facebook is I want people to see my stuff, but I don't want nobody to see theirs. Facebook, the whole online community, guys, is about sharing. I'll take like 15 minutes four times a day and go up and down the timeline. Oh, my goodness, congratulations. Oh, my goodness, happy anniversary. Boy, you a fool. You crazy. Girl, I like your hair. Man, hit me when you get a minute. Congratulations, little Johnny. Oh, this is so motivational. Oh, this is so inspirational. You know what some of y'all do? Y'all just post. Y'all post and walk away. And Facebook say, oh, I don't think y'all know how deep it is. You know what Facebook says? Oh, you've been on two minutes. You posted and ain't done nothing for nobody else in two months. Okay, we're going to show you how much we show your stuff. I'm telling you. I'm telling you how it works. Because remember, the algorithm, you're competing. I want to get too deep. You're competing with other friends of that same person who posts all the time, who like all the time, who share all the time who comment all the time. So Facebook goes, hmm, Kim, your stuff is cool, but Tamika and her engage all the time. So you, you competing with Tamika and you was on for two minutes, posted your little video and didn't go like, comment, or share on nobody's stuff. Let me show y'all something. Let's do some quick role reversal. Thumbs up if when somebody shares your post, it make you feel pretty good. Well, let me ask y'all a question. How do you think it makes somebody else feel? Duh! So if somebody shares your post, or if your post, and it's just the world we live in, I ain't saying this right, but it's the world we live in. If your post get 319 comments, who feels good? That means some people really appreciate it, a dialogue on this post, am I right? Okay, well, duh. Why aren't you making people feel good by commenting on their stuff? by sharing their stuff, by liking their stuff. When, when you comment, I'm gonna tell you something, a like is cool, but how many of y'all go look at who liked your stuff? See? How many of y'all go look at who comment on your stuff? See? A like is cool, I ain't saying overdo it, I'm not saying lie, and I'm not saying don't like. 
because Facebook's algorithm was, will, will remember that you like something. But what I'm saying is, if we were to do some role reversal, you know good and well when somebody come and comment on your post, you go check them out. Am I right or wrong? True or false? Especially if it's somebody you don't know. So if you exchange that energy with somebody else, why aren't you more of the sparker of that energy? If you, if you like that energy from somebody else, why don't you initiate that more on their stuff? Then that way they can come and check you out. See, what you're doing, guys, you got to remember what Facebook is all about. When you comment and stuff like that, what you're saying is, come check me out. Come check me out. I'm one of your, I'm one of your loyal followers. Come check me out. I check you out. You come check me out. I check you out. Come check me out. But that translates into cute baby. Happy anniversary. Love that dress. Oh, my goodness. You're so silly. You mind if I share this? Oh my God, y'all funny. That's how it translates when you comment. But what you're saying is, come check me out. Richard Greer, Singers on the Move. Is this helping you, sir? If, if I can get the Singers on the Move. Yes, sir. It certainly is. It okay, good. And you're absolutely right, right. Vanessa, is saying people right. will spend it and continue to spend it. All right, now. Let's cut that off before we hear something we ain't supposed to hear. <laughs> All right. Them damn diamonds. All right, here we go. Number, <laughs> number whatever. Hold it. Oh. Nah. All right. All right. Some people got eight, nine, whatever. It's on your paper. Um, I'm going to tell y'all what y'all missing. I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart, man. Write this down. Facebook will make you popular. YouTube will make you rich. Y'all slipping on YouTube. I don't know how many times I got to say this, but keep on letting me make the money off YouTube. That's fine. Hey, I, I, I'm, I'm telling y'all, Facebook will make you popular. YouTube will make you rich. Brian, what do you mean? Here's what I mean. With Facebook and Instagram, we have to be friends. I got to accept you. You got to accept me. We got this in common. It's called a closed network. In other words, I have to let you in and make you accept or get you to accept my friendship requests and all of that. YouTube is an open source network. That means I can Google motivational speaker or trainer and I pop up in people's Google search. That's totally different than your Facebook page. So when people Google home-based business, you want to pop up, people. When people Google or YouTube MWR, you want to pop up, people. When people Google daily guarantee, daily pay. See, I don't think about today, guys. I think about five years from now, when our whole team dominates this company, where when anybody, you can type in the letter M and we pop up. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. When you Google MW and Erica pop up, hey, it's Erica Martin. Mm -mm -mm. Extra digit. Mm -mm -mm. National director. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I'm looking for. But no, not y'all. You ain't making your videos now because you want to be too perfect. You ain't making your videos now because you don't look right. You ain't making your videos now because you don't know what you're talking about. You ain't making your videos now because you want to be perfect in five years when everybody hear about MWR and your algorithm or your view count is 10. Oh, okay. I got you. So you don't have no forward thinking. You want to be so perfect that you haven't started your YouTube channel yet till you look right and feel better. Let me tell y'all something. I got... YouTube videos, I can't stand from when I was younger. They still out there floating around. Because I still get calls. Man, this boy been at it a long time. Yep, that's still me when I was 8th Wonder Enterprises. Go look it up. You'll see him. Same video. I didn't take them down because that helps my algorithms. That helped my view count. That helped my popularity. Go look up 8th Wonder Enterprises. You're going to see my butt back way long time ago. Two diamond earrings, 
19 years old, whole nine, I do not take them down. Because I knew then that five, 10 years from now, people still gonna see them videos. So if you got forward thinking, guys, then you making videos today so that they'll show up tomorrow. Let me take some questions before I move on. Wait, I'm sorry, hold on. We gotta get out of here in a second. Questions? Brian, Richard Greer. Yes, Richard. Real quick, is that why when you have a, a watch party, you see some people clicking on your watch parties and then clicking off because you're befriending them and you're interacting with them? No, no, that's not why. If a person clicks on your watch party and then they click off, sometimes they click on and they're not interested. They're clicking off. Okay. Yeah. Turn, turn your two speakers down. Okay. Yeah. Don't overcomplicate it. A person can come on your watch party and they click off. They don't like what they saw. Sometimes I'll click on somebody's live and say, oh, shit, I ain't, I ain't want you to know. I ain't looking at your live. I click off. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Right. Okay. Questions? So, Brian, right. it's Tasa. That's yes, kind of a follow-up to his question. So, if you see them popping in and popping off, like someone stay on a good amount of time, and then maybe towards the end or something, you see them click off. They they pretty much kind of watched the whole video, but something could have happened. They could have got a phone call or, or anything. Do you follow up or do you yeah. just leave it alone and let them come back to you? If, they, yeah. if they're that interested, they'll come back to you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I don't, I, look, let me tell you something. Put this in your notes. It can be number whatever. Don't, don't monitor your people's behavior. That you're gonna get, that's a deadly trap, man. Y'all don't get caught up in that. Don't, you keep sharing good value. Hold on. Okay. Don't don't start monitoring people's behavior. Oh man, people falling off. Oh man, uh, such such watched ninety minutes of it. Then well, it shouldn't be. Hopefully, it ain't no ninety minutes. They watched uh, forty two minutes of it, but they missed the last five. Don't monitor people's behavior. All right. The instructions are clear. That's why, if y'all notice, I always put text me keyword daily pay. Text me keyword car bonus. Text me keyword. I put the instruction signs in my description so if they got to run real quick they still got my phone number thumbs up if that makes sense right if y'all start monitoring people how long they stayed what the activity level was who who what time they jumped on i, I ain't never done that i ain't never done that i do a watch party you got my phone number you like what you see call me you know i'm going to bed hell you know what i mean i ain't got time to be fooling around with how they how they acting and how they responding i'll throw a watch party up there at midnight and y'all know I ain't even there. That was a watch party from two weeks ago. But I'm catching the midnight crew, the third shift crew. That's what a watch party is. It's a watch party. It ain't, it ain't for me to monitor, though. Very good question, Toss. All right, let's move on. We got to get ready for the 830. You can't miss this 830. Hello, Brian. Brian, I had a quick question. My name's Valerie hey, from Virginia. Hey, hey. Thank you so much. My question is, how or what's the best way to friend 500 people by the end of June? What should I do? <laughs> okay. So, yeah. So, what you do, Facebook, alg the algorithm is so tight, it'll send you some suggested, suggested friends. I hate that word. It'll send you suggestions from people that y'all have in common. So, go look them up. And, and Facebook is, is giving you those um, people for a reason. So, what happens is when you accept some of those people that Facebook recommends, it'll send you more people that they recommend. The problem is a lot of y'all ain't accepting no new people. That's why you that's why you stuck on 319. Go accept some of the recommendations. Go look at the profile and see if they fit somebody you might want to interact with. Now, let me say this real quick. And then I got Valerie, then I got Erica. Look, I know this may be uncomfortable for some of y'all. I'm not saying go accept everybody, but I will tell you this. You need to go develop a fan page. Everybody listening to me right now, listen to me good. Develop you a fan page and develop you a group. Develop you a fan page and develop you a group. Let me tell you why. If y'all know, and I want y'all to all do me a favor, go become part of my group, Survival of the Fittest. That's what it's called. Brian and Bing's Survival of the Fittest. I want you to do that when we hang up here. 
not only because I'm trying to get my group count up, but also because I want you to see how I do the people who love my instinct series, right? If you go look at my Facebook page, my, on my page, it says, join my survival of the fittest group. Because what I'm doing is I'm a personal growth and self-development coach. So I got a tribe, they call them tribes. I don't necessarily like the term, but I have a following of people that like my survival of the fittest training with my animals. So every now and then, I'll go share some animal trainings with that group. Because that's what that group is about. When I started my car, um, my little car um, group, I'm not real active in it, but it's called Vintage Cruising. I added some old school car guys into that group. See, guys, what you got to remember is you need to start a group that is about money and you're not talking about MWR all the time. You're just talking about money and you the ad man. But every now and then, maybe twice a week, you're going to throw something in there MWR related. And it's not join my link. OK, you can never ask people to join. Guys, stop doing that. Here's my link. If you want to join, no. Text me, keyword, daily pay for details. Text me, keyword, luxury car for details. When I get you on here, now you mine. I think, I think a lot of y'all missed that. That's why I always, you never hear me, here's my link, guys. If you're ready to rock and roll with me, www. You just turned off everybody. Because now everybody think that you're going to be soliciting up in here. But when I get you here, and it's me and you, they call me the closer. It's over. I'm telling you, once I get you on my phone, it's over. I'm telling you. So y'all have to, so if you're a little skittish about letting people in your Facebook world, that's fine. Create a group or a fan page where that topic is what the, the, the topic of discussion is. Brian. Yes. You just hit on something real quick, and I just want you to kind of elaborate it. It's okay to get off of Facebook. The goal is not to stay on Facebook. Can you Man. address that? <laughs> Man, give it to her. Give it a round of applause. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Kristen. Yeah, because I think people miss this. The, the goal ain't for y'all to stay on Facebook anyway. The goal was for you to peek them, text me with a keyword, and then when they hit you with the keyword, you now have a hot lead. A keyword means they have given you permission to contact them. Right. I hope everybody gets that. So she's absolutely right. The goal wasn't for us to stay here anyway. I joined this Facebook group so I can add some value. I created this Facebook group so I can give value to other people. I created this fan page so that I can talk about a specific subject matter. If you go to my YouTube page, my, my YouTube page says mindset and money. That's all I talk about on my YouTube page. You're going to see a lot of my free videos on mindset, and you're going to see a lot of my videos on money. Now, of course, it leads you to MWR at some point. Why? Because it's open source. That's different than me posting my link somewhere in a group. That's solicitation. On my YouTube page, my MWR link is everywhere because that's open source. So if you Google money, home-based business, and you find me, I want my link on there. You have some people that be like, I'm in. I've been looking for a sponsor. I'm telling y'all, that's different. Open source marketing and closed source marketing, two different things. You can't post your MWR link in nobody else's group. Are you nuts? I wouldn't even post my MWR link in my own group, Survival of the Fittest, because that ain't what it's about. Survival of the Fittest is about my animal um, training. So whatever the group was created for, you got to stick to that subject matter. So that's why you need to create a money group. That's how you do it, guys. So if you're a little skittish about going to get 5,000 friends, that's okay. But you need to create a small group where you can engage with strangers and stuff and hear because they've come in there to learn about that subject matter. Thumbs up, if that makes sense? Good. A fan page. If you go look at my fan page, it's um, facebook.com, Brian Ann Bean. That page is about to be where I, launched my, where I launched my podcast, where I interview successful people. 
I haven't done it yet. I keep putting it off because I'm trying to hit this thing called national director. But other than that, that's where I, I, I interview people. People that have been, you know, um, successful in life. People who may have just, I got a friend of mine did 20 years. He, he's going to be one of the first three people that I interviewed. He did 20 years. He's he been in prison since we got out of high school. And now he's doing some amazing things. I think he has an incredible story. I'm going to interview him. So my fan page is used for that reason. Everybody see what I'm saying? So you got to decide what you want your channel to look like. You see? All right, let me give you an example real quick. So my YouTube channel, Mindset and Money. You go to YouTube, put my name in, you're going to see some Mindset and Money, period. My Facebook page, Engagement, I mean, um, Entertainment, Education, am I right? Motivation. Now, because of so many of us MWR people are my friends, of course I'm going to put such and such that got, just got promoted. But I'm also peaking interest. Such and such just hit district. Such and such just hit um, area. I don't have time right now to do a lot of SDs because I don't want my wall to look too crowded. But of course I'm going to do a burst and celebrate our guys that are getting promoted. Why? Because a third of my friends are y'all. Am I right? So that's different. Now, my Instagram page is going to always have, that's where my memes are. That's where my hip-hop translations are. That's where, my, that's where I do my stories and all that stuff. So all of my channels look different. That's what y'all got to remember. My MWR stuff is not going to be on Instagram. Not in my, not in my um, it'll be in my stories, but it ain't going to be in my, um, my little pictures at the bottom. So you got to decide, what do I want this fan page to represent? What do I want this YouTube channel to be about? That's how you do it, guys. I'm telling you. All right, I got to hurry up. We got we five minutes. So what I want you guys to do, I'm telling you, by the end of this month, make a minimum of five new videos and post them on YouTube. Watch what I'm telling you. Brian, videos about what? Go to my YouTube page and go to my 10 financial facts videos. I'm telling y'all what to do now. I got, a, I got a playlist called 10 financial facts. Actually, it's called, um, it's either that or it's called my 10, 20, 30 campaign. Go to my playlist called 10, 20, 30 and just duplicate those. Y'all think I care? They out there for a reason. For our team to win. Now remember, don't share those because my number on them. Okay? I'm, I'm getting leads too. Okay? <laughs> look at the video. That's another tip I want to give y'all. Please look at stuff before you share it. Some of y'all be sharing some whack stuff. I'm like, where did you get that from? Look, put this in your notes. Just because it's popular don't make it cool. With such and such district. So I shared it. And it's, the, it's whack as hell. What are you doing? Will you please look at stuff before you share it? Please, trust me on that. Such and such district. I don't care. It's whack. With your following like that. No. Your following don't talk like that. Okay? So I want y'all to make five videos. Man, let me tell y'all something. Hold that camera up. Look halfway decent, make some mistakes, walk outside. Hey guys, it's Brian Bean. Just want to give you a quick tip. Do you know you're leaving a lot of money on the table by not adjusting your W-4? Man, I'm so glad I found a team of experts who are adjusting W-4s. They work with the IRS and role agents. They're helping people get anywhere from 200 a month to 500 a month back in their wallets. Listen, text me, keyword, back in my wallet. Again, keyword, back in my wallet. Wallet. See how I'm talking? Just be yourself. No, nah, not some of y'all. Hey, everybody. This is Brian and Bean back with video number six. And today we're talking about the W-4. And on the W-4, did you know that there are certain exemptions and tax deductions that are allowed now that you have, <clears throat> excuse me. Dang, I got to redo it. I cleared my throat. Are you crazy? <laughs> Dang, I cleared, Chris, I cleared my throat. Damn. <clears throat> Back again with take number 62 today. What are you doing? 
Brian, that's that's another point, y'all. Use your regular voices. The the video voice and the, the different radio um radio voice. People want to hear, they want to hear from you. They don't want to hear the pretended version of this voice that you have when you seem to be on video. Like that's not that's not who you are. So just be you. Be I think you. Erica had a question, Brian, before we have to get off for the 8:30. It's like now. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Erica. My question is, I have people interested um, in shifting their income, but they never, like, watch the video. So it's like, how can I get them to actually get to watch the video? That's they a different training. Go to, go, I posted that yesterday. Go to our extra, extra digit group. I posted getting them to watch the video yesterday. I think it's number 22 or 23 yesterday. I just posted that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's called get them to watch the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Real quick. Check this out. Y'all gonna make five videos for YouTube this month. Am I right? Last thing I want you to do. I want you to host a watch party at least three times a week. And I want you to go live on Facebook at least two times a week. I'm telling you guys, man, this will change your life. Host a watch party at least three times a week. That means just host a watch party. Something that we did, change my phone number to yours, have them text you. You need to host three watch parties a week. I didn't say a day, guys. I didn't say a day. A week. And you need to go live at least twice a week. Hey, guys. It's Valerie here. Just wanted to um, share some things with you while I walk around. I'm just so excited about life right now, man. Y'all have no idea. A lot of y'all have no idea what I do. Let me just take some questions and answers real quick because maybe I can bless some people too while Facebook feeds right now and um, it's doing this thing. Let me just do some Q&A with you guys real quick because I'm earning $600 a month. I'm earning $200 a day. And man, I mean $20 a day. And I'm just excited. So I'll take some questions. Y'all will be surprised. Girl, how do you do that? Man, what you mean? Christy, real quick, close it out. What, what happened with Game Changer and her post? <laughs> she's actually on here brian if you want her to tell it but okay. trip, trip actually um put up a post that said i cannot believe i have this many facebook friends and nobody told me about income shifting with the little monkey i think she had the little monkey with either ears closed or the eyes closed and trev can you come off me for a second the last time i looked at it she had 186 comments off of that post